Are there lab tests that help to diagnose and monitor Crohn's disease? Yes, there are. Keep watching this video to learn how I use labs to manage Crohn's disease. In a separate video, I discuss why a colonoscopy is the most important evaluation for diagnosing Crohn's disease. Lab tests provide an important non-invasive measure to complement the information that we find during a colonoscopy. There are a few antibodies that can help distinguish between types of inflammatory bowel disease and may strengthen or weaken the diagnosis of inflammatory bowel disease when there's uncertainty. But when the colonoscopy provides quite a clear picture of Crohn's disease, then that itself is sufficient. And these other lab tests are really not that useful in my opinion. More helpful are labs which signal inflammation. If we can find an inflammatory marker that complements the diagnosis of Crohn's disease and is elevated at the time of diagnosis and trend that downward as a patient's symptoms improve, then that can reflect that there is in fact improvement of inflammation. By using these inflammatory markers as a surrogate of inflammation, it can avoid us having to do repeated colonoscopies to look to see if there's mucosal healing. And so while it's important to have a colonoscopy to see that mucosal healing, if we still see an inflammatory marker elevated, we may know that we need to have an increase in treatment without having to embark on another colonoscopy. So there are a couple of inflammatory markers that I like. A CRP or C-reactive protein can be very helpful if it's elevated at the time of diagnosis, but not everybody has a response of their CRP when they have Crohn's disease. A fecal calprotectin is much more specific to GI inflammation because it's actually a stool-based study and so it shows inflammation that's occurring within the lumen, the inside of the GI tract. Iron and a protein called albumin also reflect inflammation and can be measured with routine lab work. When our body is inflamed, we have difficulty using iron and that will be reflected in the iron studies. Similarly, we can't as effectively make protein and that'll be reflected by a low albumin level. Iron and albumin levels also provide information about a patient's nutrition, which is an important concept for us to consider when a person has Crohn's disease because the disease of the GI tract is gonna be impacting your ability to make good use of the nutrition that you're eating. Additional nutrition labs that are helpful to measure are vitamin B12 and vitamin D because these are very typically low in a patient who has Crohn's disease and may need to be supplemented. When a person is diagnosed with Crohn's disease, we anticipate that we're gonna to need to be treating them with medications that suppress their immune system. So it's important to look for latent silent infections that we would wanna be aware of before we started those powerful treatments. One is to check for hepatitis B, another is to check for tuberculosis. Patients with certain hobbies or that live in certain geographical areas or perform certain work, we also need to consider other atypical infections such as histoplasmosis or giardia, which itself can be a mimic of Crohn's disease. People who work outdoors or dig in dirt that may have bird or bat droppings are at risk for the fungal infection histoplasmosis within certain geographies of the country. People like my brother who camp in remote areas or drink from uncertain water sources need to be considered for a Giardia infection. Aside from excluding infections, it's important to screen for people who are abnormal metabolizers of drugs because they could be at risk for accumulating dangerously high levels of those drugs. Specifically, we want to screen if a person is an abnormal metabolizer of the drug azathioprine or Imuran. By considering these factors early, we can build a safe plan for treatment. Labs discussed in this video can help us track objective data that complements a patient's changing symptoms during the course of their treatment with Crohn's disease. Following nutrition labs gives a more complete view of your health and can help us identify complications of Crohn's disease early before they become a large problem. And it's very important to look for latent infections during the course of treatment with very potent immunosuppressants so that we prevent infections that can be very much avoided when we discover them early. I hope you found this information helpful. Leave your questions below. Thank you for watching and be safe.